Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. What is the scariest, strangest, most unexplainable thing that has happened to you while home alone? One night I had forgotten to lock my apartment door and woke up in the middle of the night. My bedroom door was about two feet from my front door, as you walked into the apartment. First a big dog ran by, then a person. Holy shit I was so scared and I screeched who is it? A man said it's Doug. As I was thinking to myself, who the fuck is Doug, he said oh, shit. He turned around to go back out the front door saying sorry. I asked didn't you have a dog with you? He said oh, yeah. Hey, man. He left, his dog ran out after him and I locked my front door. I managed to lock myself out of my house on my birthday during a tornado while trying to bring my cats to the basement for safety. I later found out that the tornado was approximately a couple miles or less from me at that exact time. The sky was green and it got weirdly calm and then I could hear what sounded like a train coming before I found an unlocked window to climb through. Wild times. My sister and I were home alone and we heard someone big running up the stairs. The stairs make lots of noise with slight pressure so when there's someone big on them you can tell. I went out of my room to check but saw no one anywhere and my sister also came out of her room and she asked if that was me I said no and we both looked around to see if there was anyone but found no one in the whole house. We were confused and called our parents and just waited until they got back and that was that. Not really home alone but when I was little I remember as my dad was taking us to bed, I ran up first to sneak behind my bedroom door. The plan was to jump out and scare my brother before bed, as my bedroom was just opposite the bathroom and he had to walk past it to get to his room. However, behind the bedroom door was two strange men hiding. One had a beard and long hair the other I don't clearly remember, but think he was very skinny. The guy with long hair whispered to me to go away. So I calmly went away and slept with my dad, mum was working nights and this wasn't uncommon for me so he never questioned it. I was rightly spooked, and didn't want to be on my own, but didn't tell told my dad what I saw as I was petrified inside. Straight up thought I'd been told off by some creepy ghosts. We were robbed that night. My brother also woke up that night to go to the bathroom and saw the downstairs light on from the staircase. At the time he thought it was our mother, and would normally if he got up early run down and see her. For some reason he didn't go downstairs that night and instead hopped in bed with me and our dad too. When my mum came home the downstairs was trashed and she was terrified something happened to us. She ran upstairs in a panic and found us all in bed safe and sound. Home insurance was able to salvage most of the losses, and we got a dog not long after that as a deterrent for thieves which growing up never had another issue again. So I guess not really unexplainable but strange slash scary story. Back in high school I'd usually be up all hours of the night playing games. I had a large dog at the time that would sleep in my room at night. It was 2 a.m. and I was finally headed to bed but my dog wasn't with me so I ventured out to find him. I made my way across the house to the kitchen slash dining room combo. I'm standing in the only door frame that leads to that side of the house. We had an island in the kitchen with a stool that the junk mail was usually kept on. So I walk up, call for my dog, and see him walk from behind the island to behind the dining room table set knocking all the junk mail down as he did so. I huff and flip on the light, no dog. I freak out, scramble back across the house, and end up finding him in my parents' room. I regale the story the next day to my parents and younger sister, who often claim to see stuff in the house. My sister pipes up and goes oh, that's the tall black thing. Yeah, sometimes it likes to crawl around on all fours. Big nope. I wasn't home alone but I was awake by myself one Saturday morning in the 80s when I was around 7 or so. I believe my mom was the only one home because my dad went to the lake to go fishing that weekend, and I'm not sure where my older brothers were, maybe they went with him, 
I don't know. Anyways, my mom's sleeping in, and I'm in the living room by myself, watching Saturday morning cartoons and making a fort out of sheets and cushions. Something made me turn around and I saw my dad in his pajamas standing in the hallway entrance with his hands on his hips. Looking the mess I was making and shaking his head. He then turned around and walked into my room, which was just off the hallway entrance. Dude. I didn't even look, I just booked it to my parents' room and woke my mom up. I don't remember what happened after that, this was around 35 years ago. And yes, my dad was fine, nothing had happened to him. I grew up in a very rural area, our house was on the end of a dead end road in the middle of Midwest farm country. In high school I was in cross country and track and found it easiest to run in the late evenings on nights when there wasn't practice. One night, which was fairly well lit by the moon I was running the last quarter mile to my house and I saw someone else running toward me on the road from the direction of my house. I live on a dead end road. There is nothing but farm fields behind it and it definitely wasn't my mom running. It surprised me so much I stopped for a second to consider what I was seeing. I remember exactly what the runner was wearing and I watched her run another 5 or 6 strides towards me before she disappeared or blended into the night like the predator or some such. Now if could have been exhaustion or dehydration I guess, but I've run a lot farther and a lot longer than I did that night without seeing anyone materialize and evaporate. I never did again either on that road or anywhere else. It was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. I anime ran home crying panic tears and I am not ashamed to tell you about it. I couldn't bring myself to run at night again for a month. In grade 9 my best friend and I were having a sleepover at my house. My parents and younger brother were visiting family so we were home alone. After it was dark outside we started watching a movie, we were laying on separate couches, watching the TV that was situated next to a door frame that leads to the kitchen. Bedrooms and basement. In a matter of seconds, I see a feminine figure standing in the doorway, facing me, and for some reason I instinctively said don't leave me. My friend laying on the other couch, also saw the figure and said to me don't worry, he'll go away in a second. Thinking it was my younger brother. The figure just faded away, kind of like mist, into the other room. We looked at each other and realized what had just happened, then quickly turned on all the lights and sat on the same couch. We're 28 now. Still have absolutely no idea who or what that was or why I said that, but I still think about it often. I got up in the middle of the night to pee and happened to glance out the window to my backyard to see a glowing yellow figure that looked like it was collecting soil samples from my backyard. I absolutely shat myself and bumped into the sink. The figure stopped what it was doing and looked at me. I bolt. Funny thing is I've told this story to other people and the wife of a friend of mine burst into tears and said she had seen the same thing when she was a child but nobody believed her. One night I wasn't feeling very well and the upstairs had a larger bathroom, downstairs was an old half bath and I wanted to leave that for her if my wife needed to use it at night, so I figured I might as well sleep in the guest room. My wife did not have a problem with this as she had work early the next day and I was constantly getting out of bed with food poisoning. At some point in the night I awoke to the door slowly creak open and a female voice asking if I was feeling alright. I assumed it was my wife and replied yes honey I'm fine, see you in the morning. But the door never closed and no footsteps went down the stairs as I would have heard them in this 1800s home original wood floors and stairs. We were alone in the house that night. I was in my college apartment and my roommate had just moved out. Her room was directly across from mine with the living room between us. I had cleaned out her room and then closed the door. I left my bedroom door open when I went to take a shower one night. My bathroom was connected to my bedroom. I also happened to leave the bathroom door open. While I was in the shower, I thought I heard a woman talking. I had never been able to hear my neighbors talking before, but figured they just happened to be talking in their bathroom which shared a wall or something. 
When I got out of the shower, I was surprised to see a black void when there should have been the bright white closed door of my old roommate's door reflecting in the moonlight. I figured I just forgot to close the door and went and closed it. The next night I once again went to take a shower and left my room and the bathroom door open. But this time I checked to make sure the other door was latched and the front door was double locked. When I came back out I once again saw the void with the door wide open. I slammed my door closed and locked that shit so fast. I convinced myself there was a logical explanation, so the next night I once again checked all of the doors and then closed my bedroom door. This time, I came out of the shower and my bedroom door was open along with the other door. I showered and slept with my bedroom door locked from that point on. I guess this took place over several nights home alone and I may not have even been alone. Still the creepiest thing that ever happened though. When I was younger I used to live in this super old, shitty house in the middle of the woods. There was a small clearing, with an average sized yard and the rest was thick woods. One night I was walking up to our gate to go inside and I seen a very tall figure looking in my bedroom window. My light was on, which was weird since I hadn't been in there, or turned it on, so I could see the figure with its face and hands pressed up against my window. Whatever or whoever it was must have heard me because they looked in my direction before booking it to the back of the yard, and presumably into the woods since there was nowhere else to go and the backyard area wasn't fenced in. I never slept in that room again. Not home alone, but upstairs alone. I saw a doppelganger of my mom a few years back, and I think she heard mine. I was sitting in my bed, and looked up when I heard her coming up the stairs. She walked by my door, looking straight at me with no expression, and walked into her room and closed the door. I'd said hi as she walked but figured whatever, she didn't hear me or maybe she was getting something from her room. Then, about five seconds later, she yells up the stairs from downstairs and says did you call me, and I am not ashamed to say I freaked the fuck out. She came upstairs, looked down the hall and said did you close my door. I didn't, and neither did she. She never closed that door because one of our cats primarily lived in her bedroom and so she always kept the door open so the cat could come and go as she pleased. And it wasn't just closed as if the wind had shut it, it was fully closed and the windows were shut. Ma said she had very clearly heard me yell hey mom, come here from upstairs. I had done no such thing. I'm never entirely sure what I believe and what I don't, but I was totally sober, not tired, and it wasn't some movement out of the corner of the eye thing. Many years ago when my now 28-year-old daughter was still an infant me, her, and our dog were at the apartment we were living in at the time. My wife was at work, I was sitting on the couch watching TV, my daughter was asleep on a blanket pallet on the floor. And the dog, a German Shepherd slash Wolf hybrid mix, was about 10 feet away laying in the doorway between our kitchen and the living room area. At any rate, I was watching whatever it was that I was watching when all of a sudden, Thor, our dog, starts with this low level, guttural growling. I figure that he had heard someone in another apartment or walking by through the parking lot and don't think much of it. As a few seconds pass, I notice that it's getting, louder and I can see out of the corner of my eye that he has lifted his head up off his paws, his ears are perked, and he's looking up at the ceiling over where my daughter was laying. I look up, don't see anything, tell him to knock it off. Right after I tell him to knock it off, he jumps up, starts circling my sleeping daughter, literally walking around the pallet she's laying on, and growling more and more intensely even stopping once and outright snarling and snapping his teeth all while staring up at the ceiling. After about two minutes of this, and me having no clue on what to do since I can't see anything and I do not want to reach for my daughter with him circling her like that. He laid down next to my daughter, rested his head on her back, and stayed there for almost an hour, still intently staring up at the ceiling and occasionally growling. To this day, I have no idea what the hell was going on or what he saw slash sensed, but it was extremely creepy to me. Not me, 
but my dad and sister. My sister's room shared a wall with the living room and the couch was against this wall. My dad and stepmom would knock on the wall if they needed something. One night, my sister is doing her homework and hears a knock on the wall, so she shouts. What? No answer. This repeats several times before my sister gets pissed and storms into the living room shouting, What? The living room was empty as my dad and stepmom had left 30 minutes prior to go on a walk. There was a basement in the house that always made everyone feel uneasy, but it was great for storage. The dogs refused to go down there. My dad was grabbing something from the basement, and while going back up the stairs he had this sudden feeling of dread. The dogs started barking like crazy so my dad started running up the stairs. When he closed the door at the top, the dog stopped barking and he felt relief. My sister was home alone and was walking down the 40-ish foot hallway when she heard footsteps behind her. She looked back to see nothing, but when she started walking again the sounds started again. She began running and the footsteps picked up the pace as well. She ran out of the front door and to a friend's house and refused to be home alone in that house ever again was 17 years old left alone from Thursday to Sunday with our family's dog, who was pretty small starting to have trouble climbing stairs in his old age. I'd be working every morning while my parents were out of town. Came home from my shift on Friday and everything about the kitchen table was a mess. Napkins were taken out of the holder, all of the mail was thrown on the floor. Salt and pepper shaker on the other side if the kitchen but together, and one of the chairs pulled far away from the table. Our dog's never done anything like this, and I'd be especially surprised if he was even capable of climbing on top of the table. I reset it all. Saturday, I come back to find the exact same configuration. Don't have the pictures anymore, but every detail was just as I found it the day before. Pretty much the entire night I'm convinced there's gonna be a ghost coming to get me and I sleep horribly and barely rest for work on Sunday. I leave for work and make sure the place was orderly when I left, because I knew my parents would be back before I was out of work. When I go on my lunch break I call my mom and ask about all of the details from the past two days, ABD she just goes, yeah, why did you leave such a mess? She didn't get pictures so I can't verify how similar the mess was, but regardless I can't believe my old dog would have done that, for the details three consecutive days, and I don't even know if he was strong enough to move the chairs or climb on the table. Only time anything like this ever happened while I was left alone. Years ago a few weeks after I moved into my now current apartment I'm still in, my one cat at the time woke me up in the middle of the night. Not sure why, but I then heard something, so I got up to investigate. Wandered my way down the hall into the kitchen to see that every single cupboard, 11 of them, top and bottom, were open. Like we I'd open. But okay then, this is fine. I casually closed them and headed back to bed, probably hid under the covers till the morning lol. To this day, 11 years later I still have no idea what happened there but, I'm sure it was the building ghost saying hello and welcoming me to the place. There's been a couple others things that have happened here and still happen that I cannot explain. But I'm ok- This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.